Hello, dear conference organizers and participants. Our paper subject is Human Resources Audit in Albania. Topic of this study focuses on human resource audit and investigates the factors that affect increase in work efficiency. Within this study, we will develop some hypotheses on this topic and we will draw some conclusions by the end of it. Some work efficiency evaluating factors are function effectiveness, policies and procedures, management climate and motivation, and also performance evaluation. For these factors, data were provided through a survey on which the regression analysis was based and from which the hypotheses were raised and tested. Of course, there are many other factors that can have an impact on work efficiency. But since they do not have sufficient empirical and statistical data, they are not taken into account in the ordinal analysis regression. The results of this study show that function effectiveness and work efficiency have a positive correlation. And this means that an increase in function effectiveness leads to an increase on work efficiency. On the other hand, the changes in policies and procedures and also motivation and performance evaluation have a moderate correlation with work efficiency. About the literature review, we will mention only some main authors. The scope of HR audit involves the implementation of HR policies and their implementation in the organization regarding legal compliance. However, most organizations do not have proper HR management and have many problems as they do not have clear organizational management strategies. Emmy, 2010. Bontis at 1999 state that human capital represents the main factor of an organization. Intelligence combined with skills gives the organization its distinctive characters. It is indeed the knowledge and skills of individuals that create value, so the focus should be on the tools for attracting, retaining, developing and preserving the human capital they represent. Armstrong 2009 emphasizes that the theory of human capital consists of three concepts. The first, the intellectual capital. The second, the social capital. And the final is the capital organization, which is the knowledge institutionalized by an organization and stored in the database manual. Also, Barney in 1991 states that the added value that people can contribute to an organization is highlighted in human capital theory. The theory of human capital is related to resource-based theory as developed. Also, Grant, Grant in 1991 emphasizes that resources and skills are the main considerations in formulating a strategy. They constitute the main sources of benefit. Boxall in 1996 states that the theory-based view resource aims to improve resource capabilities, achieve a strategic fit between resources and opportunities. Also, Parcel on 2003 states that the importance of resource-based theory is that it emphasizes the importance of human capital management by investing in people through resources, talent management and program development as a mean to enhance organ organizational skills. Okay. The link between human resources and firm performance has dominated much of the debate within the HR management literature since the middle of 90s. Such research was conducted within the best practices and best fit studies that focus on coordinating HR management strategies with organizational strategies and contextual conditions to create the highest possible performance of the firm. 
Research methodology. Object of this study was to estimate whether human resource audit is a tool to measure the effectiveness of human resources and to provide accurate evidence in order to properly manage the latter. Main hypothesis of this study. Human resource auditing leads to the most effective measurement of an organization's HR functions. Also, other hypotheses are if HR is in line with management policies, procedures and legal provisions, then we will have increased efficiency at work. Good management climate affects the employee in better relations with colleagues, morale and job satisfactions. A, prud a prudent and fair performance appraisal brings motivations to the employees and efficiency also incre an increase to efficiency at work. The nature of this data will be addressed in the form of surveys for different levels of management. Independent factors are effective measurement of an organization's HR function functions, contributions, contribution of management policies, procedures and legal provisions, HR management climate, periodic performance appraisal, and also other independent factors could be as follow organization size age of the organization sector market region the data used to address this issue are primarily because they were created by the survey conducted with 155 people uh, and among them only 119 were the appropriate contingent of for evaluation, but also secondary data were used and obtained from different sources of information. The model treated in this paper is uh, of the form of original regression. In the case of this study, complementary log-log connection was used because this fun function better explains and uh, obtains better results. There is a tendency for responses of the natural, neutral, natural, neutral and most agreeable type as mentioned above and explained when uh, we explained why we use complementary log-log model. We see that the significance of this Statistics suggests that the model is good, less than 1%, so the factors considered, considered manage to fully explain efficiency at work. From here we can proceed with the estimation of the regression coefficients and see if the factors are considered are important in the model. To the conclusions, this study relied on a literature review and observation of the Albanian reality to answer the question of whether efficiency at work depends on the proper functioning of the HR department. Theory suggests that we should expect a positive relationship between the two factors. However, the observation of the case of Albania resulted in two important conclusions. The first conclusion relates to the relationship between the effectiveness of functions and efficiency at work, which is positive. And this means that when the effectiveness of the functions increases, the efficiency at work is also expected to increase. This is also supported by empirical analysis, where we distinguish the association of evalu evaluation coefficients and the level of reliability for the two factors in question. The same situation is with the management climate. The second conclusion relates to the importance of policies, legal procedures as a factor that determines efficiency at work, which is unsatisfactory 
along with motivation and evaluation. This is a result beyond the expectations and findings of the other authors. The expectations were others that these two factors could be uh, the main for uh, the main contributors to work efficiency. But while, however, it is worth noting that this may have been due to the receipt of a small amount of data. Increasing the number of respondents can improve this result. References. Thank you.